hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel let's learn with the art today's topic is related to english literature history of english literature that what is the history of english literature so let's get started okay the first period we are having that is old english old english at that time that was also called like anglo-saxon anglo-saxon is actually a tribes and it started from 450 to 1066 and its definition is the earliest form of the English language and literature. It was the earliest form of uh, English language and English literature. Characterized by epic poetry at that time epic poetry was famous uh, such a bevolve and the influence of Germanic traditions and this is the main uh, poem bevolve. So if someone asks from you that what was the most popular work at that time so your answer should be Beowulf. the second period we are having that is middle english period and it started from 1066 to 1500 its definition is the phase following the norman conquest now again here the tribe has been discussed like norman people marked by the evolution of the english language uh, they evaluated the English language and notable works like Chaucer's The Contemporary Tales. This is the most important work at that time. The third period we are having that is Renaissance period and it started from 1500 to 1660. And its definition is a cultural, artistic, what was at that time means, uh, what was famous at that time. So like cultural, it was the, the era was a cultural, artistic and intellectual revival. Uh, featuring works like Shakespeare plays. At that time, Shakespeare works were too much famous uh, and, and emphasize on humanism and classical influences. Restoration and 18th century. Okay, this is the fourth period and it started from 1660 to 1800. Its definition is the era following the restoration of the English monarchy. Now, uh, here the kingdom or the kings has been discussed. Characterized by neoclassical ideals like satire and works like John Dryden's poetry, John Dryden poetry, uh, who used to criticize. Okay, so at that time, like criticism was on the peak. Then we have Romantic period, and it started from 1785 to 1837. Its definition is an era emphasizing emotion. Emotions were the mo most important thing at that time. Nature, okay, and individualism with works like Wordsworth Poetry and Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Frankenstein is actually a uh, novel. Then we have Victorian period and it started from 1837 to 1901. Its definition is the height of the British Empire marked by social and economic changes, realism in literature and the same like works by authors like Charles Dickens. Then we have Edwardian period. Edwardian like the brief period after the Victorian era featuring a mix of optimism. Now here the hope has been discussed and anxiety, there was also anxiety with writers exploring societal changes. Society got changed at that time. That's an Edwardian manners. Edwardian is actually, uh, he was from uh, England, okay. Then we have modernist period like 20th century. Its definition is a literary movement characterized by a break with traditional forms and a focus on subjective experiences. Means uh, the people, the feelings has been discussed here or were discussed like experiences exemplified by T.S. Eliot and James Joyce. Then we have postmodern period, mid 20th century onward and its definition is a literary era challenging established norms and questioning the nature of reality. People raised questions about that if you think it's right then why it's right means they started questioning with works open featuring like metafiction and intertextuality then we have contemporary period late 20th century to present its definition is the current era marked by diverse uh, voices globalization and it's actually the era of technology Okay, and the exploration of various themes and forms in literature, including works by authors like J.K. Rowling and uh, Chimnamenda Ngozi Adichie. Okay, so they they they, uh, they are the most important writers of today's era. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. If this video has sparked your interest, I request you suggest you to like, share, comment, and do subscribe.